Did you know, this is the second time I am editing this video. The first time, after two hours of editing, the whole program just crashed in my face and all of my editing got deleted. I was not happy. F in the comments, boys. Anyways, I just accepted that all that work was gone and I redid everything. This better be good enough for you to like or subscribe. So let's continue with the video. Hi people. In the last episode we left off in the Barrens, and I had just trained the next rank of arcane missiles and respect to spend the talent points in a proper way. I was now prepared. Lately I have been told both in real life and on YouTube that I have a very monotone voice, which was something I... Sorry, I, I lost my train of thought. That was weird. I didn't think at all I had a monotone voice. So, I figured in this episode I'd really do something about that. Something uh, like this. Hello guys, how is this for non-monotone voice? Do you like these new changes in frequency? No, but to be honest, I think it's my voice that have the same sound in an interval of frequency. So it doesn't really change if I go from... 180 hertz to 220. Besides the darkness of it. Anyway, moving on. Look at me. Out looking for those magical mushrooms. It's just like real life. If you know what I mean. Anyways, as you can see, things are not only okay, but pretty good. I'm going through these tigers at a good speed. The next rank of Arkin missiles won't come until level 24 and things won't be this nice all the way there. But I prefer to not think about that, but level on in my blissful ignorance. So here I am doing the Samoflange quest, just turning screws and pushing buttons. But some of the Venture and Company minions realize the great threat that my Arkin power implies and set up an ambush. Right as I turn this crank, they appear out of nowhere and try to club me down. But alas, I use my skills as a mage to bravely run away. This game, man, it's not even hard anymore. Imagine all the empty spots in their company which has to be filled now, giving goblins job opportunities. And these people were just standing around anyway, it's not like they were doing a good job. Honestly, I think I would damage the corporation even more if I didn't kill any of their employees. The long-term economic effects of having these slackers in the company would drive it into the ground. Here is me, again, but this time I'm looking for the Cat's Eye Emerald. And look, a clear cast. I love that sound. Look at me go, clearing this house like a SWAT team. I've had this weird suspicion while leveling lately. It feels like I'm getting too many clear casts. I know with 95% certainty that this is just wishful thinking, but I really, really hope that arcane missiles and clear casts have this secret, insane synergy. I was tricked into doing another Wailing Caverns by this salty dude, so I left the mines and this place in order to get my dungeon quests done. Here I am, at the oasis. About to do what plastic straws never could. Make the turtles go extinct. Killing things in 8 seconds at this level is very fast. Oh, and also, I'm killing pretty much all of these turtles without needing a single mana break. Feels good, man. About 3 minutes later, the quest is completed. Eventually, I decided to head to the gym to PUMP SOME ARNS, YEAH! and to Wailing Caverns an hour later. However, that never happened. The dungeon run, I mean. I did go to the gym like a good boy. I was preparing to head over to the mountains, which names I always forget. And on the way there, I started trying out some proper melee weaving. And I did decently good, I believe. I haven't yet mastered it, but it could indeed be something good one day. Maybe once I got the Crescent Staff from Wailing Caverns. I might need a melee swing timer as well. This is where Arcane is the best. 
Ooh, a clear cast. Anyways, this is when it's at its best, when you just have to mow down mob after mob. This right here is IQ 200 plus. See what I'm doing is that I'm identifying the problem, going over the possible solutions for it. Once you've found a one good enough to take onto stage two, that is testing phase, I take the necessary steps in a logical and methodical way, such as finding a good icon and testing it out. And look, it worked. So nice. I was testing out my spirit to mana regeneration coefficient. Meaning, how much mana do I get per tick in relation to my spirit? And I found out that it was about 0 0.33, or 3 through 10. In my previous testing, it seemed as if mages and priests had the highest ratio here. I asked the buddy, who is a warlock, to test his out as well. And it seemed like he had about 2 through 7, or 0 0.28. There were, however, some uncertainties, so this should be tested more properly. But anyway, I know for a fact that all classes don't get the same health regeneration from the same amount of spirits. And I think that is how it works with mana regeneration as well. In case you didn't know, warriors by a mile has the largest health regeneration coefficient to spirits. It's like 13 times stronger than the average casters. Something I found out was that you can't regenerate mana while channeling spells, so that sucks. Otherwise, a clear cast would mean that you had time to get two ticks of mana while channeling your free missiles. But that isn't the case, sadly. I did a Wailing Caverns run where nothing of interest happened at all. That's how things usually work out. I'm approaching 20, so I decided to turn in some dungeon quests, and then run and get my crescent staff. Woohoo! This might be the one which replaces my 30 spell power dagger. Might be the one. I gotta do some more testing first. I got a bunch of nice things at level 20. Evocation, rank 3 of water, the next rank of cheap, blink... Just a couple of things to make life easier for the coming 4 levels. You see, these four levels were the levels of fun. The next four levels will be the four levels of frustration. I hoped you enjoyed my new non-monotone voice. Like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you also don't really understand the fundamental concepts of quantum physics.